Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how we can easily create a website with a page fly. The first thing we want to do is when you're going to install the application, you just click here, create your first page. And voila, we will have pages here so we can create a regular page or home page or product page. I'll just click here on the right side, create a new page. On the free plan, you can only create a maximum one regular page. Okay, continue. You can also upgrade the plan if you want to. So when you're gonna be here, what you need to do is to click here and add element. What you can also do is to simply add a section or select a page template. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to select a page template. In that, I will just be adding elements. So template, and you see plenty of templates that you can use. You can use the product one, or like this one here, which is pretty great. There's plenty of really good templates. <clears throat> and I'm going to choose the, this one, the Decos preview. And select the template. The select template will replace all your current page. Okay, use this template anyway. And here we are. So, uh, how the page fly works is that you're going to have sections. And in those sections, uh, you're going to have columns, right? And now how we can edit it and what you can do with it. So first thing first, I'm going to teach you how we can work with sections and then I'm going to show you how we can add elements. So uh, also on the top right, you see that you can switch between all device to tablet to mobile to see how it is. Then you can also go to editor settings and you can enable theme styling. And now to click on this and move it, you can simply move it elsewhere or let's say I can move this here or I can duplicate it, delete, copy styles, page styles or save section to library. So I can simply move it up or down. Completely up to how we move it. See, so this is how we can do it. Always uh, when you're going to be in section, you can add a new item here, new row. So that's what you can do. Add multiple rows here. And in a row, you can, that's like a column. And in that column, you can add another thing, right? So that's how it works. And now you see that we got a row. We got a columns here. And you can, so we have a section. And then I click here to column. And I see the columns here. Now, how we can add everything here? Let me show you. So let's just scroll down below, go to top left, click add element. And now you can add containers as a layout and you see what kind of layout you can add. Then you have tabs here, accordions. This is for really good for FAQ. So let me show you. I just move it and now I see. So we got an accordion header. I mean, item here, you can add more items and this is like, okay. I can uh, header text, question, anchor text, one, two, three. So this is a text. And I can drop the element here so I can add uh, like text here and it will be showcased right here. This is a question. See? Pretty easy. So this is how the accordion works. You can also add a slideshow. This is also pretty straightforward. So when I would add it, uh, what I can do is to disable set uh, fix width. And now when I'm going to click on a slider, I can click on it and then I can click to action. Uh, I can edit the styling here, the background image for the slider. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. When we go further, you can add also heading, paragraph, button, which is also pretty straightforward. Look at this button text. I can uh, move it where I want to. I can align it to the mid. I can change the font size, which is going to increase the size of it. I can change the background color, the board, the display, the CSS code. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And click to action if you want to link it, scroll to section, send email. Now, even when we go further, you're going to have the list here and image. 
also pretty simple so I'll just take it and paste it I can center it I can add image source border style I can edit if I want to what I can do is just look at this let's say that I want to add multiple images what I'm going to do is just add a uh, columns image here and then I would just add second image right there and voila here we have it now I would just change it and edit it and center it to the middle same thing first here and this is how you can create perfect columns right pretty easy pretty straightforward you can add YouTube video here look at this pretty easy right and now what I would do is that again I would change the full width video width I can edit that see so this is the, the full width here like this so it will be on the full page and you can enable loop enable autoplay pretty straightforward now to go further you can add HTML uh, Instagram Facebook like Facebook page Twitter and then you can like advanced here as a countdown timer you can add MailChimp form Google map so let's say I'm going to add a table here and I can increase the columns I can increase the rows and I would just add the data here click plus again I can add a countdown, countdown timer again pretty easy that I would do I would just uh, add a specific time I would just increase the size here and attributes so this is pretty much it how we do it my recommendation would, would be just like edit to uh, edit to max width to the left side uh, to add it to like columns and then just like increase the the column here content position so this is pretty much how we can work with it and then you're gonna have a Google map and progress so progress again pretty simple just add it and you have general settings here and styling that you can increase the font size change the colors and everything so what you can do we also add third party elements add the sections uh, sections are really great thing and what you can add if you want to I don't want to work with things you can add dress badges and I don't have to create those like this and then I just add literally everything so then I can add also testimonials so I don't have to create testimonials by myself like this check it out just perfect right and you're gonna see plenty of sections here so generate content and that's what we can do here now we can also add a Shopify element so custom form custom form field so I can add a custom for font here and they will just fill it out so we can also add from Shopify elements that's pretty good and third party elements this is the something that's connected directly to PageFly so that's pretty good and you can have plenty of so yeah if you can have any questions guys just ask me down below no, I will be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance uh, etc then how you can actually save the site and test it out is just like go to top right and preview and it's going to preview I need to save it first new page save the page okay I can publish it And this is how it works so yeah okay now I can go Shopify I can go home to my online store pages so new page 
and see now we got perfect page here and this is the things that I was creating so using page fly is pretty straightforward and pretty easy uh, this is just like what's the short overview how we can do it and what you can actually achieve with page fly just build the website as much as you want you can do whatever you want with it again you can add a blog posts here product image product list so we can add product details so I can add it like this and then please select the product general product source and it just like advise you what you should do so thank you very much guys for watching uh, if you have any questions ask me down in comments and have a great day and goodbye see ya